Good morning. It is a Thursday, the 6th. I am working on my story again. I want to try and get through four chapters today because I had a couple of days. This week has been a little bit weird, so I slacked a little bit. So I have a list of things I need to accomplish, but I'm going to try and get through four chapters today rather than just three, which would be the normal plan for Thursday. But if I can do four today, I also have tomorrow off since I switched to the coworker. If I can do four chapters in four chapters, I'm going to be like more than back on track. So I'm going to see if I can do it today and tomorrow and then kind of figure out where my story is and maybe reassess because I think the story is a little longer than I had initially visualized, especially if I'm like splitting up these chapters. But there are also parts I think I need to be really serious about whether or not I need to keep all of the beginning stuff because like we're five chapters in, we're only like two days into the trip at the moment. Like before I had been splitting it by days, but now I'm splitting it by like things that happen, like scenes. It's just gonna make it longer, so we shall see. But anyway, that's my plan for today. I was trying to frame this with both kitties. Can you see? There's a pie, and there's a Cora, and there's my mess of my <laughs> normal setup. All right, time to work. So I pretty much just didn't end up really filming anything yesterday. <laughs> Uh, I did get the writing done. I didn't quite do four chapters, but I did do my three chapters. And then I found a bootleg of Dear Evan Hansen, which just the most gorgeous music, but like, it was a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. That, it's a dark musical. And you know like how in most musicals, the songs kind of carry the plot line. So if you listen to the album, you pretty much know what the plot is. Well, in Dear Evan Hansen, every song is either a misunderstanding or a misdirection. So, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's about pie. Never mind. I'm sorry. Everything's about pie. Oh, now he's not going to look. He's going to he's going to bump the camera again, though. You could listen to the album and feel one way about it and then watch the play. And it's like every song is more devastating with context. So it was real dark. So after that, I watched Emma, and that was a lot of fun. Because <laughs> I watched The Queen's Gambit recently, and I really, really liked The Queen's Gambit, and so that actress is also in Emma, and she's lovely. I love everything about it. She's so pretty, and she just said, okay, there he goes, there he goes. He's back. He's back to rubbing the camera with his face. <laughs> but yeah, so I would watch more things with her. I thought she was delightful. Pi, you've got to stop bumping the camera. I'm going to move the camera over here. So today I realized that it, it's a week into this ambitious project of mine and I have caught back up as of today, I've caught back up to where my previous revision rounds had been, which means before I was going real darn slow. He, keeps, he just keeps going for the camera. Oh, here he comes. Thank you. Right on the lens. Is there smudge now? Oh, there is. Good job. Good job. Okay, <laughs> Pi's been a little needy today. Clearly, the revisions I was doing before were just going way too slow. I just wasn't, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. This is becoming a challenge, a challenge of not letting Pi keep bumping the camera. Okay, I'll put him with one hand and I'll talk to you with the other, but he's still going for it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Any of you with cats, when they have like sudden needy time, that is the only thing that matters. <laughs> You distracted me, Pi. What was I talking about? Oh, okay. So my revisions before were clearly just going too slow because I'm caught back up to where I used to be, which means that from here on out, all of the revisions will have to be a bit more robust, a lot more fleshing out because a lot of what I was doing last time was really fleshing things out. And so now that I'm back to that point, like the rest of the plot is in there. It's all written but it's a lot more rough drafty. It doesn't have a lot of the dialogue. It doesn't have a lot of the characterization. It doesn't have a lot of the extra romance aspects that I had been adding back in. It might slow down a little bit. We'll see. I have two more chapters I need to do today to do my three, and then I'd like to do a bonus chapter, but let's be honest, it seems like my brain starts to fizzle out. And I'd really like to watch another period drama. So maybe it's time to start Bridgerton. I'm just really in the mood for that. It's raining pretty good right now. So it's not like I can go for a walk. Also, 
this is kind of tangent here, but I did something to my foot where like the arch of my foot has just been painful. It almost feels like when I step, I need to like crack my foot. You know, like sometimes you'll step and your foot will kind of crack. Is, is that normal? Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> Uh, my foot will do that my other foot will do that sometimes but this foot it just never cracks and so it's been very very painful right in the arch of the foot for a couple of days so I'm just trying to really really take it easy and like not walk on it because nothing else was helping so yesterday I really tried not to walk on it today I'm trying not to walk on it too much it's a lot less painful so it probably was something to do with like my shoes or walking too much or something so I couldn't go for a walk until I feel better, but I do need to get some exercise of some kind. I'm gonna have some lunch. I'm going to work on another chapter and then at least one more chapter. I did clean my house very thoroughly yesterday. It's nice and clean now. That's good. I mean, not like, I mean, there's, there's mess, but the vacuuming got done <laughs> and the dishes got done. I think the only thing I still have to do today is laundry, so I'll try and actually film a little bit more. There we go, let's get some better lighting. Okay, I've done another chapter. I also, we are just about to start classes, which is like, is 10 chapters in too late to be starting classes? But like there's so much to do in the first week and so much like fun stuff to happen. So it's like a lot of things happen. So maybe it's not too late. I need somebody to go over the pacing for me and make sure it's not too late. So we're starting to get into classes. So I had to go way back and figure out what the class schedule actually was supposed to be. So. I've made a class schedule for myself in my little like series Bible notebook so I can actually stick to it because it's going to be important later like trying to fit things in around the classes and like as the anxiety starts to build later into the semester I need to know which classes are which day so it's a smart thing to do. I've got the classes all lined up. I'm going to take another little break. Oh okay it's a dog on a really long leash. I was like there's a tiny dog running around. Yeah I'm going to take a little break again and then get at least one more chapter done today and I will be on track. Feeling good about this. What you doing, Pi? Hmm? You'd like nothing? Yeah, it looks like a junk heap in here, but mostly it's just blankets for the kitties. Hey, Cora. I'm just gonna do a vlog check-in while my makeup is good. <laughs> I just finished filming two videos, which is great. I'm gonna finish writing the chapter I'm working on right now. I'm kind of getting into the romance a little bit more. So I'm trying to decide how much I do right now. <laughs> so, so far, a productive weekend. If I get one of the videos edited either today or tomorrow, that'll be well on track for it to go up on Wednesday. I need to get a chapter done today, ideally two, and I'll probably do one tomorrow as well since I a little bit slacked on Friday. <laughs> but that's okay. So far it's going really well. So far it seems like this is a pace that I can keep up pretty good. It seems like I should have the novel done by the end of the month. I'm feeling good about it. So keep wishing me luck. Here, you can get that in the caddy. Oh. So I just got back from getting my second dose of Pfizer, so I am all fully vaccinated, which is great. Uh, because I was so nervous about going to get it, I got myself some sushi from Trappers. So I'm going to eat that for lunch, but I wanted to kind of check in because last week was my birthday week. I am now 31 years old. I kind of, kind of let myself slack a lot last week on my writing goals. I got a lot of stuff watched. I watched Bridgerton. I, I ended up liking it more than I thought it was going to, so that's good. But yeah, I really, I really slacked and kind of let myself relax. So this week I'm going to have to really step it up. I'm planning to get a lot more writing. I like, I got only like one chapter done last week. Like it was pretty bad. Like I was really far behind my, my personal schedule. I'm going to try and get a couple chapters done today. 
However, I don't know exactly how Pfizer is going to affect me. Like I had to stand out in the sun for about 10 minutes uh, before even going in because it was like really crowded in the building for some reason today. Like last time I just like zipped through and today it was super busy. Because of that, I'm a little bit like, I didn't bring my water. Like I've got my water now and I had just filled it up before I went. So I'm going to try and drink all of this like in the next hour or so and then pee like crazy. I didn't bring it with me and I still outside in the sun. It's kind of hot today. We've been hitting the mid 70s already, which is like, that's that's pretty much summer for here. Like we'll hit 90, uh, hope, hopefully only like a couple days. We've had years where it's been more because of global warming, but hopefully only a couple days. But like 70s are, are, are summertime. So it was pretty warm out in the sun and yeah. I just, I'm just, I'm just a little tiny bit headachey, but more like how you are when you're a little bit dehydrated rather than like a migraine or like that that's caused by Pfizer. So I'm just gonna, gonna relax indoors, eat my sushi, cause it is definitely lunchtime now and drink my water and hopefully I'll be feeling a lot better and I can get some more writing done. But yeah, I definitely, I slacked real good, but I think I'm trying to keep in mind, like this is the year of the ox. And you're supposed to take it slow and and you know be confident about things and really plan things and not jump into anything and not rush anything so even though i have an ambitious schedule like not rushing is more important this year gotta keep in mind yes i'm gonna eat and let you know how the writing goes after that mm. Cheers. I did manage to drink it. And now I might switch to something caffeinated because I have just like the most mild headache right now. And like, it seems too early to be part of the vaccine, but it could have been because of standing out in the sun for so long. And since I drank all this water real quick, it hasn't kicked in yet. So I might have some caffeine and see if that kind of helps. Yeah, we'll see. I might need to take a painkiller or something, just depending. Um, hopefully the headache is not to do with the vaccine. Nobody else I know got any side effects, so it would kind of suck if I was the only one. I'm getting caught up. The writing went really well today. I got through two chapters. I was not really caught up, I guess. Cool. But I'll get at least two more done tomorrow. I'm on chapter 14. I'm not totally sure how many chapters it's going to be. Uh, originally, I had expanded it out to a little over 50,000 words, and I am at 40,000 words now, but I'm still in the first week of classes, so this will be a long story. <laughs> Obviously, it will speed up because I'm not going to go through every single day of class, like one chapter at a time. That would be stupid, but I wanted to go through the first week one chapter at a time because I feel like that gives you enough time to get to know what's going on. Oh, hi, Pi. Suddenly, Pi is here to be needy. Next chapter is the first day of the writing club, which is going to be exciting because I want that to be a bigger focus of the story. I've had a lot more chapters with the love interest, which is really good. And after that, it'll be the second big like adventure trip. Yes, yes. Okay. I know. I know. Here. Here. Come say hi. No, look, now he's offended. He wanted to just roll and roll in my lap like a crazy man. But anyway, so it'll be the trip to Edinburgh, which will be very exciting, which there's so much already there. Like the trip to Edinburgh might be mostly written. I might just be fixing like tents and like adding a few small details. So hopefully I can whip through the two of those. So we one chapter like super expanding in one chapter, maybe not having to do too much at all. And if I can get through both, oh my God, please don't lick my foot. Uh, if I can get through both of those tomorrow, I think I'm gonna be pretty much getting back into schedule and I'll kind of have a better idea of the pacing of the rest of the story. And I think I'm still gonna get it done in plenty of time. I give myself plenty of time. I'm really going easy on myself. Oh my gosh, this guy's driving me crazy. You know how sometimes you're sitting in a chair, it's not really the best chair for a cat to just be rolling and trying to get your attention in, and they start using their claws, they start licking your feet. 
Yeah, I know. I know. You have to stop, Pi. You no, no, no. You have to stop. Okay. I'll talk to you again tomorrow then, unless you know how much I got done. Hey, so it turned out I did kind of have a reaction to the vaccine. Like the soreness started to come in kind of late in the evening last night. And then at like five in the morning, I woke up with just like full body aches. Like they were so painful, they woke me up. And I ended up taking ibuprofen and that helped. And I was getting chills. And luckily Zuko crawled in the blanket and kept me warm. <laughs> That was sweet of him, but now this morning I just feel like fully zonked out. I just feel like I have no energy, just like completely worn out. So I'm just gonna lie on the couch and watch YouTube for a while, and then hopefully I'll kind of get my energy back later in the day. Like my arm just barely hurts anymore. I think it's probably more like left over from that reaction last night than anything, but I feel... A little crappy, so I'm just gonna rest. Hopefully still get my writing done later today. Okay, so Monday didn't go as planned. Monday, I was just out of it. Like the vaccine just knocked me the heck out. I, I couldn't do much more than watch YouTube, but I caught up on a lot of YouTube videos, so that was nice. Today is Thursday. I haven't done as much as I really should have. However, my goal today is to reach chapter 20, so I'm just gonna put my butt in the chair, focus in, I need to get to chapter 20 today in order to be on track, because there's only one more week left, and I'm, if I'm gonna be slacking, like, like if, I had, if I had kept up, I would probably be pretty much almost done with the story by now. If I can stop slacking, this is still a realistic goal to have this done by Pitch Madness, but I actually have to, like, do it, so... That's what we're doing today. <laughs> okay, I finished two chapters. Ooh, there, the legs much better. I finished two chapters, so I'm on to chapter 18. So I need to do two more, two more to catch up to 20 today. Three more to like get through 20. So we'll see if I can do the three more. But I'm certainly gonna do two more today because it's still pretty early. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I need to clean the litter boxes and maybe fold my laundry. It's like my, le this is my absolute least favorite chore is folding laundry. Like to be fair to me, it's not that I'm lazy. It's that the repetitive hand motions really, really bothers my wrists. By the time I'm done folding laundry, I'm usually in a lot of pain. So it's not that I'm just lazy. It's that it's a chore that is just not really designed for people with tendonitis at all. So, but I've got to get up and do it. I'll put on probably like a longer YouTube video I've been meaning to get to. Ooh, this battery is dying. And I'll take a shower and then let's get back into writing. Okay, so let me, oh, my screen never shows up very well. Okay, so you see, I'm about halfway through. This is the NaNoWriMo version. So it's really pretty sparse. And then this is the version I'm on now. And so where I am at now then, I am at four, 48,000 words. My NaNoWriMo story was 53,000 words and I'm about half of where I was before. So there's still half the story to go through and some of it is gonna get cut and some new things are gonna get added. There were some things that I did that I don't think makes sense for the character to do. And then I want her to go and see the Jane Austen Museum that I did not go see, mostly because I mentioned Pride and Prejudice and then Sense and Sensibility is gonna come up as well. And I know that kind of makes this like a cheesy Jane Austen, you know, story, but I feel like I'm a sucker for those. So why shouldn't I lean into it? Like, 
I personally love the Brontes so much, and that was why going to the museum was so worth it to me, but I don't feel like that's true of this character at all. And so as much as I adored doing that, I think she needs to go see the Jane Austen Museum. So that's going to be a big goodie, right? But yeah, looking at everything, there's also a lot of things that are just like, today I didn't do much. Where I'm going to start cutting out a lot of the school stuff in order to build up more of the story. There's also, there's another big panic attack coming. And there's at least, at least the two more trips. The London one is going to involve the Jane Austen Museum as well, instead of Oxford, I think, which is what I did was go to Oxford after. And then in the Lake District, the Lake District will come first, and then London. And then I think I need to do another one. I'd like to do the return to Edinburgh, which is what I actually did, and maybe make that one with the love interest. That would be cute. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's about where I am in my mental space with this, but I am catching back up. I'm finishing chapter 18 now. I need to at least do one more chapter today and then wrap this vlog up because this has been way more than a week long vlog now. I finished four chapters today. We're on to the second trip, which is the one to the Lake District. So that is pretty exciting. Oh man, somehow I got through all of those today. I think that's gonna be it for the vlog for now. <laughs> this vlog went over two weeks. Uh, the next vlog probably is gonna be for the end of this at this rate, but I'm back on track technically. I'm over 50,000 words in and oh look who came, it's a needy boy. <laughs> Actually Zuko's here too. But I'm on track for this to finish up. I think it's going to end up being about 100,000 words, which sounds like a crazy thing. But remember, like, a lot of it, I'm still, oh, of course you two, everybody came over. Oh, how nice. Oh, okay. Well, my battery is dying because I didn't charge it because I'm, I don't know. But anyway, so that's all for this week. So I'll talk to you again soon. Hopefully it'll be good news next time. I post a vlog, but we shall see. So far, honestly, it's going so well. It's so much better. The story feels so much better. So much more has been written. It's really, it's going okay. I'm glad I'm doing this. Like, it's a lot of work, but I think this is the kind of pressure I really needed right now. So I hope you're having a great week or month of May. <laughs> and then that battery died. So all I was going to say was good luck to you. Good luck to everyone. And I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the vlog. I know some of these can just be kind of rambly and like just updates, but I appreciate people watching and having an interest in what I'm writing. That's always a lot of fun. So I hope your writing projects are going well. Talk to you again soon. Bye.